hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are continuing our php blog series where now guys we are going to learn how to delete the record from our database so guys actually we are not going to exactly delete this record instead we will update with the status okay so as per the status we will understand it is deleted or not why we are doing this because if you delete this record then you have been posted some data okay some posts so if you di directly delete this then your post might affect guys so you can just update with the status and handle your records guys so now let's begin with that so let's move to this table structure on this delete button let's go let's go to our view category so category view guys and this is our delete button so now let's change this to form where this method will be method is equal to post and we'll go to code.php guys so instead of a tag we'll make this as button let's make it to button and the href will be type and we are going to make this as submit so the button name will be category underscore delete and the value inside this we are going to send the category id guys so let's copy this and send the id inside this button all set so when you click on this button you will take the value with the post method on the code.php so let's go to the code.php and write the code all set so let's move at the top and write the code if condition is set of why we are checking is set is the button clicked or not so we will check if this category delete is pressed then you are going to get the value from it so that is your category underscore id is equal to dollar underscore post method of your the category button okay so this category delete button as you can see that we have sent the value inside this so from this data only we are going to accept the value guys all set and now guys you can just type your query so dollar query is equal to so now guys we will be giving our delete query over here so instead of delete query we are going to learn like update something status as two okay so that status two means it will deleted records okay so let me just explain you inside database let's go to structure so this status is there right let's change over here and add a comment so i'll explain by comment okay so if the value is zero that means visible if the value is one that is hidden if the value is 2 that will be understood as deleted okay so we are going to understand by this so this is a comment guys which is for our reference this is the comment guys for our reference and yep by this reference we are going to delete the record so let's understood understand as update the table name okay so my table name is categories let's copy that table name set the status is equal to inside single quotes you are directly going to give two okay so this two is equal to deleted let's comment this okay for your reference um, we are living here and where id is equal to inside single quotes you are going to pass your category id send the category id and we'll give a limit one that's it and now let's execute this query run with the help of mysql i underscore query function first your database connection and then your query all set and if it is executed or not to show the status let us use if condition so let me just copy that from below and paste all set 
so guys if the category is deleted you can show deleted successfully and redirect back to our page so which page category view dot php so let's copy this page and paste all set what happened okay single quote is missed guys over here save done to show the message we have already done on view where you can see that at this include message.php save guys and now let's see the output so let's refresh and let's browse our database so over here right now status is zero for this html let me just delete click to delete and you can see category deleted successfully and here it's visible because we have not checked the condition let's browse perfect so you can see that status is two guys so now let's edit this table if the status is zero only i mean when it is not equal to two that time it should be not visible so let's move to this category view guys okay so yep let's go here on the select start from category you can give a where condition status is where to okay now we have to add not equal to two okay so when status is not equal to two that time we have to show all the datas all set let's get back refresh guys and you can see that only second value is fetched done so this is how we are going to handle our for backup purpose so we are not going to delete data instead we are going to set the status as two so that means it will be deleted guys so this is one advanced advantage of like keeping your as a history backup now if you want you can create one more button for history data okay so yep guys let's continue in to restore back we don't want to delete this record so i'll make it as zero if you want don't want to delete just create an another crud for this to restore your data so guys in this video we have successfully seen that how to delete the data as per our history thank you for watching this video please subscribe and continue in next video with the post methods so thank you once again guys